I've never driven one of these. I hardly could fit in it, but I'm gonna take it for a drive anyways. Oh, what a day. We come early this morning to get a head start. I want to start my day because I've got a lot of projects to do. I don't want to fall behind because I had enough of staying every night to catch up on some work. I just want to get a simple job out here. He's one of my buddies here with a taxi. We don't do taxis, but Doug is a special guy. He's been with us for many, many, many years. So now he's got his oil change. He's ready to go. And now it's time for me to start working on the muscle cars. And first of all, we're going to get some uh, coffee that Michael sent us from uh, Louisiana. It's pretty good stuff. I love it. It's pretty strong. It's good. Here, let's make some. Here it is, Saturday morning. We got some coffee uh, uh, from Michael from Louisiana. And I didn't know this is the fourth generation in the family. No, I know they've been around for a long time and they make great stuff, let me tell you. And this coffee is really good. I like it strong. Okay, everybody wants coffee this morning, so now we're having a special coffee from Louisiana. I got a bigger fridge because uh, the other one was a bit too small. I got Joel here uh, who likes eating, and his lunch bag is bigger than the refrigerator, so. I got a bigger fridge that we can put in his lunch. What did we get from Philo? Oh, wow. This is Greek pastry. It's in Chamonix Laval. And I go there uh, many nights for uh, coffee. He makes a great uh, cappuccino, espresso. And it's the best bugatta in town. And here it is. He makes it. And he sent us a few boxes for this morning. Of course, uh, we have a few people here this morning and everybody likes the bugatta from Filo. And we'll have some with the uh, coffee from Louisiana. So it's a good start this morning. We got the uh, bugatta, we got cheese pies, and of course we have spinach pies. It's all Greek to me. A good cup of coffee and some pastries from Filo are just the thing to get Nick's day off to a good start. And there are lots of cars in the shop again today. They're not all classic muscle, but more often than not, these days you'll find Nick trying to sort out issues with people's beloved collector cars and with their daily drivers. I just finished installing the 351 Windsor in the uh, kit car Cobra right here. And uh, everything went well until I drove it yesterday and I couldn't put the handbrakes on, but they don't work. So my client told me, you know, Nick, just remove the console and it's going to be right under there to check out the cables. And I took off the cover and this is what I got. And there's no opening underneath the car either. So what do I do? I don't know. But anyways, you know what? We'll check it out next week. But in the meantime, I'm going to take it for a drive. Let's see now. Let's see if we can get in it, first of all. I'm not going to look for the seatbelt, but anyways, we're not going to drive crazy today. I'm going to warm it up a little bit.
right, I'm just gonna take it for a little bit. Spin, and here we go. Man, <laughs> feels like a go kart, all right, let me tell you. For a 2,000 pound car, I'm sure it's quick, even though it's got a 330 horsepower or a little V8 with a 351 Ford Windsor. And it goes good, let me tell you. Fun to drive, let me tell you. It's a funny shifter, it's facing forward, but you know, driving it after a while, you get used to it. You know, driving a go-kart like this, or a kit car, Cobra, you need smaller feet. My size 10 feet don't uh, have enough space to play with the pedals. Anyways, I'll take it for another ride. Here we go. Yeah, this is the one we had to uh, remove a 302 in it. And we installed the 351 Windsor, and of course it's got a higher deck, so we have to lower uh, the uh, alternator and the power three pump. So we got all the brackets, we installed it, so we can make the bonnet close. And here it is now, closed, and we're driving it around. like a toy car man it's like, what? it's like a toy car it's a kid car you know well you look like a kid in the car. <laughs> 20 years old but you know what it, it, it feels like a go car but it's fun to drive let me tell you man yeah. and it goes pretty quick for uh, what 330 horsepower oh, yeah? what is it weight 2,000 pounds yeah it's fun 2005 with <laughs> and, it, <laughs> and it's loud you know the exhaust is out through the sides yeah. my god Anyways, I'm gonna take it for another spin. Here we go. Made a partial buildup on this 351 Winter. It's a Ford engine, and look at that. We installed it, everything went well, runs good. And there you go, Ford folks. We got it running. Nick, special ride. Hop in. You want to go for a ride? Go, let's go. I, I, I don't think the client would mind. I've got uh, Jeff here, the father of uh, Sebastian, with the uh, S10 yellow pickup that we plan to fix very soon in the future. And I'm gonna take him for a drive right now with this little Cobra. We might not be back. Okay, here we go. Yep. And my feet get tied up in there, right? Oh, there's, there's no metal. Oh, yeah. And it, there's only this much space. Wow, that's more full of my friends. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a 351 Windsor. Yeah. And, uh, and it always 2,000 pounds, you know? It, it's like putting a big block in a small car. Right? Yeah, exactly. But you know it goes good. You don't need a big block in a 2,000 pound oh. car. No, it's a... It's I just, thought it was a real 427. No, no, no. Those are just the... Uh, those are just... Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but anyways... I love this car.
Let's go one more time. I'm having so much fun. And it's loud, eh, from the side? Oh, yeah. yeah. Holy crap! And it's a 351. Yeah. It's fixed up a little bit. It's got a little cam in it. It's got headers. It's got a dual plane high rise intake and a, a brand new Holly carburetor. And uh, ported and everything? I don't know that. Yeah, I mean, they might be ported heads. Yeah, I'm not so sure. We had to put the heads on it, put on the dyno, then put in the car. That's all we did. Now I got to fix the handbrake. Yep. And, uh, well, yeah, find an air cleaner, but the, the bonnet doesn't yeah. close. Oh. It's a higher engine. It's a taller engine. Oh, because of the hood, yeah. It's That's taller. right. Yeah. So I got to work on that right now. It's the first time I've been in an AC Cobra. It's, yeah? It feels like I'm in an airplane. It is, eh? And there you have it, folks. AC Cobra with a 351 Windsor. Manual shift transmission. Jeff, what do you think? Power monster. Just, yeah. It feels like it has a real 427 in it. Yeah. Just well, takes off. That's how it goes when you got a 2,000 pound car. Beautiful. Nice. Nick wants to extend a special thank you to the owner of the Cobra for helping a dream come true for Jeff today. Once he's test driven the Cobra, Nick has lots more waiting for him at the shop. satellite with a fresh 440 build. This is our junkyard dog special. Blue Quad EFI. Something there I don't like. I don't know, I see a wire hanging here touching the exhaust manifold when it should be brought over from the top. I don't know if I could do it. I don't think it's long enough. Is it burnt? Is it cooked? No, it's not. Uh, he brought it in so I could change the oil pressure switch because uh, the light was fixed to ring on, so. We fixed that, so that's okay now. But he thinks one of the wires is no good. Cables for the spark plug. But I don't see anything wrong with it. And by the way, this exhaust man was belonged to Cam Kelly. I gotta take him off one day. I accidentally put him on his car by mistake. Nick has been building so many 440s lately that he accidentally put some of one customer's parts on another customer's engine. Anyways, I have the other set to put on. We'll do it very soon. No big deal. Sorry about that cam, but don't worry. We'll get him for you.
1970 Fury. All right, take it to the sky. We just got a sending unit to replace in the fuel tank, so uh, we're gonna jack it up to the sky and uh, because the fuel gauge doesn't work, so we're gonna change the sending unit. It's a very common job when it comes to old cars. A lot of the sending units get uh, disintegrated or uh, corroded in the gas tank. So in this case, we're gonna pick it up, remove it, take a look, and if we need to replace it, we've got one and we're gonna replace it. Talk about massive cruiser. It's bad they don't make cars like this anymore. Changing the sending unit and getting the gas gauge working again should be a simple thing. But as usual, when working with 50-year-old parts, nothing is ever simple. But Nick will get the job done. His passion for these cars will keep him going until he finds a way. It's a passion he's had since he first watched the man in the house next door work on old cars in the back alley when Nick was just a kid. I, I started from a young age with my neighbor, an Englishman. He used to work with, uh, I called him the oily man. Back, I believe in the late 60s. He was my neighbor. I was uh, maybe 10, 12 years old. I used to work on a Vauxhall and an Envoy. And he always used to play with Tinker with his cars. Yeah. It was an old shack right next to my mom's yeah. back alley uh, garage. I used to come out and I used to see him always oily, bucket. He had his car on two wooden logs. He's always working on him. And I used to go there and ask him all kinds of questions. Yeah, yeah. And then one day, you know, he's putting these things together. Then I see him turn the key. And yeah. when he turns the key, I see this thing turning in a fan. Uh. He gets out of the car and the thing's working on his own. I go, wow, this is fabulous, man. What's going on here? Yeah. You know, what is this, a car? How does it work? Yeah. He's putting gas in the back and the motor's here. Yeah, yeah. Then I got into interest how a car works. Yeah. What does it run on? What does oh, it do? Okay. How, what's the gas doing? You know, he gas. says it's burning gas, but you don't see it. It's liquid. Where is it? It's burning. It's fumes, vapor. Yeah. You've yeah, got to be yeah. kidding. So I got interested in this. Oh my God. And from then on, I took over in loving cars. From the kid asking questions in the back alley, Nick has become the oily man. His garage is a lot bigger than the old man next door's. And Nick works on lots more than an old Vauxhall and an Envoy. But he has the same passion for automobiles, and he loves sharing that passion with the world. So I just finished uh, doing the brake job on the front of the uh, Coronet. I had the uh, front calipers replaced. I also had the uh, discs uh, refaced. And now I want to take it for a joy ride around the uh, block just to try it out. Because I just finished doing the motor on it and I drove it last time without brakes, but this time I got brakes, so I want to drive it a little bit different. So let's take a little ride with it. This is the engine we found the uh, bolt inside the uh, cylinder head. So now we got it running, we got brakes, and I know we got an empty fuel tank. 
So we're gonna do the best we can just to go around the block one time. I just wanna feel it. I love the sound of that four speed when it slows down. back in here we got to build 400 something uh, horsepower and now we got brakes and now we can drive it and uh, we have a very low reserve of fuel right now because uh, we added a, a gallon of fuel this morning that's all I had in the shop so for now I'm just gonna drive it to test out the motor transmission and brakes Mike this is all yours Well, let's try the brakes right now. Hmm. Brakes are working fine. There we go. Cornet 68, here we come. Oh, I just love that sound. Just don't want to run out of fuel, and then we got to push this car. Let's check the four gears now. Third. And now I'm going to go into fourth. Here we are. Yep, transmission is perfect. Clutch is good. We're all set. I love the sound, eh? I just love it. Mike, I know you sent me four shock absorbers, so send them to me, I'll put them on for you, and it's ready to be taken down south. And we finally got a beautiful weather. And here we are driving your coronet. And it's on its own. No more bolts either. And of course, we did the engine turquoise, the way you wanted it, that's the way it came from the factory. And there it is. Here we go. That was a pleasant drive. I wish I had the plates to take it down on the highway. Anyways, it's running good. It's running great. There it is. Got brakes, got the engine in there, and it's ready to go. We're gonna sure miss this B-body. Look at that factory, matching number four speed car with the Dana. Dana, okay, the American way, Dana. Not Dana, that's the Canadian way. 
capital A, Dana, like you Americans call it, which I don't argue, you guys build it. Yes, it is, a four-speed car with a Dana. 68 Coronet RT, 440 Magnum, matching numbers. Swell car. So before we have it delivered, we're gonna have it washed. For Mike, here it is. Let's check it out overall, just in case anything goes wrong, any leaks, but it looks like everything's fine. I installed a set of uh, 452 castings, which can take unleaded fuel. Yes, this is the uh, ported heads with the 216 intake valve size. Power steering, exhaust manifolds, and the air cleaner. And this is the way we dyno tested it, the way you see it here. With his ignition, his air cleaner, his carburetor, and his exhaust manifolds. Mike, it's all yours, Mike. And of course, the bolt doesn't come with it. We got rid of it. I didn't use this cast iron intake. I took the aluminum one. There it is. The bolt is missing. But there's a piston. Of course, we replaced the connector rods. We put eagle rods in it. We put forged pistons. And we took out the uh, cast rods, cast pistons. And this is the one with the bolt that was jammed between the cylinder head and the uh, piston. So Mike, this is all yours. It's your souvenir. And there it is. Of course, we have power brakes, good running motor, unleaded heads, which is the 452 castings, ported with the uh, Mopar templates, and there's the results. I love bringing things that are dead, bringing it back to life. I wish I could do that with everything, but you know what? In this case, with motors, that's my job. Dr. Nick. I want to thank our viewers for watching this from uh, from beginning to the end. Here it is. We put it back in, the original motor, and now the car could go back home. And from what I know, that Mike wants to drive it all the way to Texas, from Montreal. Mike, I got to see this. But before you take it, I will check the front end and make sure it's safe enough to be driven to Texas. Here's another day here at opening the mail. We got stuff from all over the world. And you know, like I keep saying once in a while, I don't know what's gonna come through the doors or what's gonna roll through the doors one day. But anyways, here we are, we got some more mail. Maybe we don't have too much this week, but we're gonna open it up and see what we've got. And this one here is from Uncle Tony's from Tennessee. And what do we got? Here it is. Build anything, Uncle Tony's garage. He's on YouTube also, you guys, so check him out. You see what he builds. Here you go, Uncle Tony. There you go. And of course, I'm gonna put it up with my other stickers in my engine room. Thank right. you, Tony. Of course, one of my buddies, Jimmy, sent our sticker from our YouTube channel to Tony. And of course, now you've got our stickers, we've got yours, and we'll put them up with pride. And what's this? This is from Mark, from the state of Missouri, US of A. Here we go. Now I remember, uh, once being in Missouri, I got pulled over at three o'clock in the morning. It's a long story, it's a speeding ticket, but it doesn't matter, we're not gonna talk about it. <laughs> That's another story and a half. It closes the flag of my state, Missouri. Nice, we don't have the flag of Missouri there, Mark. It would be an honor if we could be hung next to the other flags you receive from the other Patreons. Mark, thank you very much. Here it is, and of course, we're gonna put his name on it. Yes, sir, here it is. It's a pair of bears. Didn't know that one. There you go. Mark, I believe you're also a Patreon supporter. I want to thank you for that too. And of course, thank you for the flag. And here we got one from the Philippines, Robert Ike. Wow, this is uh, something new from the Philippines. To Nick and all the guys at the garage. Nick, watching your channel makes me think we know each other for years. But remember when the flag is flying vertical red on the bottom. Ha, it's true, sometimes we look it up to see when they're hanging, which way they go. And here it is, our first flag from the Philippines. Let's put it up. And here we got a package from Louisiana. Wow, this package took a beating, check it out. Wow. Wow, this is kind of the post or uh, US Postal Service. Anyways, doesn't matter. This is, uh, what do we got here? Coffee and a coffee mug from uh, Michael from Louisiana. Oh, wow, it's already half open. Let's go. Oh boy, this box sure took a beating. It got wet, it got uh, crunched. 
Wow, check it out. Family owned community coffee. That's great, eh? We had coffee from Maryland, Hawaii, New Mexico, and now we got from Louisiana. Cool, this is really cool. You know, we're gonna make some coffee here later on and we're gonna use this one. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Check this out, Nick's coffee. Wow, this is the first. Wow, vanishing point, challenger. Wow, this is something, man, this is something. Michael, this is unique, man, let me tell you. This I gotta drink coffee from. Jeez Louise. Check it out, man. Hey, is that my car or what, eh? Oh, yeah. I enjoy your videos. Look forward to viewing them every Monday morning. Of course, every Monday morning we try to put up a video, and so far, so good every Monday. Michael, thank you very much, man. This is very unique. Here's our last one. Old car part. Oh, wow. Old car part. What could this be? Wow, this is well packed. I don't know, let me check for a letter. Checking for a letter. Yeah. It's pretty heavy, man. Wow, it took a lot of wrapping. Oh my God, check this out. Oh. Wow, someone sent this? Wow. I did mention once on the video that my tail light, not the tail light, the backup light, the so and so I was gonna put it back on the car. Well, you know what? It's nicer than the one I have on my car. My car is the original piece, but it's pitted, but you know what? This is beautiful. I'm gonna put it up there. I'm gonna put it up on the car. Andrew uh, from Massachusetts, I wanna thank you very much. This is something I could show use on my car in the Kowalski project. Man, you went out of your way to get me this. Look at that. I want to thank you for this. Very special. It's like a shoe you use this on my car. Beautiful. I, I thank you very much. And I want to thank everybody who watches us on YouTube. Subscribe, share, and put thumbs up. Hit the, uh, the bell button. And uh, just got to say thanks to everybody. And all these people that send us this uh, coffee, uh, gifts, uh, flags from around the world, everywhere. So I have to say a special thanks to all of you guys. And of course, for watching our channel here on YouTube of uh, Nick's Garage. Thank you. And you guys, if you look down below the video, we have a whole bunch of merchandise that you guys can buy. So whatever you like, buy it, love it, wear it, and enjoy it and help spread the word of Nick's Garage. And if you have some time, check out our Patreon page. We have extra content and you guys can watch it and take it from there. And we'll see you next time.